Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Outlook. In this module, I want to have a look at how you can create email signatures. Two places that you can do that. So the first place I'm going to show you is in options. And it's not the place I tend to use, but just to show you that it does exist there. If I click on file and go down to options, under the mail option, you have signatures. And that's one way that you can get into this box. But I think uh, I'll just cancel that off and that one. I like to go into a new mail message. And then you have signatures sitting there with, with the ability to add a signature. And then go into the same box like so. So you can see my signatures there. I've just got one there that I was playing around with. I'll just delete that. So that's my signature block. And I've got that set up for this account. And I can put that to none, and I can put that to none. It doesn't attach itself to a new message. I just click OK to that, close this one down, and get a new one. I don't have that signature block anymore. I can still add it from there, but I don't have it as default. I'm just going to put that back as default, because I do want that as default on this. So when I send a new message, I want that signature. And when I do a reply, I also want that signature. Because sometimes you get a, a, a chain of messages bouncing back between people. And if they haven't got this on, you've got to scroll right down to the original message to find out their contact details sometimes. So I find that quite irritating. So I, I always do it myself where I put that on. Other people might find that irritating also that it's on every single thread. Now to do a, a signature, if you, didn't get, if you haven't got one, you just click on New and give it a name. So as I did before, just call this test because I'm going to delete it afterwards. And then this box is totally clear. So if I put some information there, yours, Steve, and then a few spaces, and you might want to put an email address there, Steve at it's easy. uk, for example. You might want to put a phone number in there, just bank some numbers in there. Or whatever obviously they've got your email when you send this email so you might not want to do that but maybe you want to put a web page in there so as soon as you put a, a web address it will give you the hyperlink option as soon as you click down now along here you've got the hyperlink option anyhow but you don't need to come into this unless you're going to link to a, a, a place on your network that you can an existing file or location that you want to go get to because if you're just going to do it as a web address um, you don't. You can just do what I've just done there. Type it in. But if you're actually going to look for a file, you no, know, on your on the network, you would have to come into this box to have the link for that file in the signature block. Now you've also got the option of, for business cards. But just make a space, business card. So if you've got, I'll just pick this first person. It's a made-up person. Um, okay to that. Puts the card in at the bottom there. So that's going to go on uh, into the signature block. And when people get this email, they can add this card to their contacts if they want. So it's up to you whether they want to put a business card into there. Now, the other options you've got is having it attached to a message permanently. So if I just leave that on Saks for now and then click OK and then close this down and do a new one so go new there's a default but now I should have test in there and I, I added test it did the card for me and it's it's overwritten that so I've overwritten this and replaced it with that one so that's basically how you create a signature I've seen people use signatures um, I'm not sure it's meant to be used like this where they've They've added lots and lots of different words, and each each one's got like a sentence or a paragraph in here. It's like um, using it as auto text instead of a signature. This is for signatures, but you can obviously use it to drop in auto text. And what I mean by that is, if I just put my signature back on there, so you've got some information there, and if you type a keyword. And when you press enter on that keyword, it drops a paragraph in. So at the minute, I haven't got anything in there. But if I if I just add something, so if I if I put um, move to the office, and I want that to be available as auto text, I can just highlight that, and then 
on the insert tab you've got quick parts as you have in Word and you can just add this to um, save the selection to the gallery and I'll just call it move and all this can stay the same OK and then if I delete that and type move comes up with a little tip press enter and it puts that in for me so you can do that anyhow or like I said some people like to do it inside the signature block and they've got a big list here where they just click on it and it'll just say move and it'll do the same thing but I think what you when you do it like this and I've experienced this in the past you, you are restricted to the formats that are in here you know this sort of stuff so you've got to be careful that the format you want uh, and the paragraph spacing that you want is correct when you're dropping text in um, I think doing the auto text option is probably better because you can see um, what you're doing and it makes it clearer I think but obviously it's horses for courses whatever you want to do so that's all I want to talk about in this little video so hopefully that was of use thank you for your time and I'll see you on the next one